finance test numbers three through seven, the mortgage problems. We are assuming as we go through these steps that it is good to budget a monthly payment that in some way includes paying off the down payment. If families were thinking about don't have tens of thousands of dollars of cash lying around, they'll be borrowing it from relatives, from friends, from taking it out of their retirement account or their kid's college plans or something. They've been saving up this money or others have been helping save up this money and they will need to repay the down payment as well. So we'll see that in the math, but just a heads up that that's coming because it's a little potentially confusing. So she wants to pay about 755 for her mortgage. There's things she can't control. The interest rate is currently about 6%, and she wants a 15-year loan. That means that the number from the amortization table is $8.44. So she takes her $7.55 per month, and imagine that she writes not one check for that amount, but lots of checks. And each check is going to be $8.44. Every time she writes a check, she gets $1,000 of loan, because that's what the table says. So how many thousand dollars of home size will she get? Let's see, $7.55 divided by $8.44 gives me about... 89 and I'm going to round and that's okay. I'll round down so she doesn't over budget. So about 89 So that's how many thousands of home size she gets So each time she wrote a check for eight dollars and 44 cents Whoops, not how She got one thousand dollars of home size now, that's not how we write it. We don't like to put 899 thousands. So we're going to say that this is 89,000. Did I just say 899? I'm sorry if I misspoke. So that's how big a home she gets. Eventually, she finds a home worth that much. There's a 17% down payment. So percent of we multiply, we're going to take the 17%, scoot the decimal place twice to the left to get out of percent, left out of percent. So we will take our 89,000, multiply it by 0.17, and get about 15,130. The problem doesn't ask us at this point what the actual loan is, but I do want to figure that out. So I will say also Anything that's not down payment is going to be the loan. So we have to take away the down payment we just found. And we get 73,870 for her actual loan size. So let's look at the numbers we have so far. Her home size is 89,000. The down payment is 15,000 of that, roughly. And the amount she has for the loan is the other 73. So back to what I was saying in the beginning, her budget is big enough to include not only the loan, but also paying off the down payment, because we're assuming she doesn't have that much cash lying around. Okay, the loan has a 1% fee. What's the fee amount? So we're asking what is 1% of this? Again, 
to get out of percent, we'll go left twice, so we'll get 0 0.01 for 1%. So the amount of the fee was 15, amount of the down payment was 15,130, multiply it by 0 0.01, that's also a scoot kind of thing by the way. So, 151 dollars and 30 cents next how much will she pay in monthly payments over the 15 years so we're going to need to keep the fact that her loan size is 73,000 in mind So what is her monthly payment? A monthly payment we're talking about here is to the bank. So she's probably, again, using a portion of her budget to pay off the down payment to friends, to families, to a kid's college fund, to whatever, second mortgage on another house, whatever way she's scrounging up that money. But we're just caring about the bank. So we need the same numbers we had before. That 6% and a 15-year loan was $8.44. So she has 73.87 thousands of loan. I'm just taking the comma and replacing it with a period to turn it from a normal number into so many thousands. For each of those thousands, she has to pay $8.44. So her actual monthly payment is $8.44. How many times does she pay that over all 15 years? Well, she gets out her checkbook and the check she actually writes is 623.46. She does that every month, so times 12 months. And she does that for 15 years. She pays one hundred and twelve thousand two hundred and twenty two dollars and eighty cents. Finally, how much of that is interest? Well, everything from this number either goes into the loan or it was interest. She's either paying off her loan or it's interest. That's the only two options. So we'll take the 112, $222.80 total paid, subtract away the 73000 870 and get $38,352.80. As a final note, we saw in lectures with a longer year's duration of loan, the interest will turn out to be more than the loan size. 
but 15 years is short enough that the interest is less than the loan size.